Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo with your morning digital news brief for Friday, October 19th. An investigation is underway into a deadly police involved shooting in Cumberland County. Authorities say a Cape May County detective shot and killed a man in his car during quote law enforcement operation. This shooting happened in the parking lot of a vehicle rental business on Delcy Drive in Vineland yesterday afternoon. Police have not yet released that man's identity. Well, if you're looking for a four legged friend, head right on over to the Lehigh County Humane Society. Adoptions continue today for dozens of beagles that were saved earlier this month. You may remember us telling you about these pups. More than 70 beagles were taken from a home near Allentown. Authorities say a woman was breeding them without a license before she died. And tonight is your chance to win more than $970 million. It is the record setting Mega Millions jackpot drawing. Your odds of winning aren't good, but hey, the Eagles won the Super Bowl this year. And guess what? Tomorrow night is the Powerball drawing, and that jackpot stands at $430 million. Now for a look at the eyewitness weather forecast, here is meteorologist Katie Failinger. Hi, Katie. Hey there, Jan. A cold start to the morning, certainly, but we actually have a nice finish to the work week all in all. While you do need extra layers walking out the door, and there is granted a frost advisory and a freeze warning posted region-wide. You've got one or the other, depending where you are. At least we end up with a nice afternoon. So just bear in mind you might be, need the spare time to thaw your windshield and also have a pair of sunglasses if your travels take you east this morning. The sun glare is pretty vicious. Let's jump you all the way to Sunday morning, though, when many of you are going to be out early tailgating for that earlier kickoff that looks chilly again, even though we're rebounding today and even right through tomorrow, we're still in the 60s. The breeze picks back up behind this next approaching front and the temperature takes another hit on Sunday. Saturday, though, it does still look like it'll be somewhat damp, especially early in the morning. There will be a few showers from that front we mentioned behind all of it, though. The temperature takes yet another hit, but will rebound all over again on Tuesday. So the roller coaster continues. Jan just got to dress in layers. Thank yeah. you, Katie. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up-to-date forecast and the latest stories right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for this morning's digital news brief. I'm Jan Carabeo. Have a great day.